Hey guys, how you doing? TK coming at you. Just wanted to do a uh, informative video to try to give you a reason to want decentralized assets. You know, I'm always scratching my brain and trying to figure out new ways to reach people, empower the everyday person by giving you a simple explanation and desire to want to become your own bank. Decentralized assets step away from fiat, step away from government. It really puts you in control of your own money, your own destiny, and your own finances. But I realize that there's a lot of people that are new to the concept of cryptocurrency and how uh, decentralized assets work. So I just wanted to do a overview to expose you to the system you know, uh, train you about Bitcoin to show you that it is advantageous for you to get involved and very prudent for your future. Now, a lot of people believe in paper money. They don't believe in devaluation. And a lot more people uh, can't seem to uh, uh, wrap their brain around the concept of uh Fiscal irresponsibility leading to uh, hyperinflation or uh, depression. But those are realities within fiat. So that is the primary reason why you should step into um, cryptocurrency and decentralized uh, forms of payment. So the first thing I wanted to show you was my uh, eDinar system, which is... Uh, one of 700 cryptocurrencies on the market. But what I'm pointing out here is that uh, there's an issued asset that's held in my wallet. And whether or not you can read the screen or not, the issued asset at question is dated the 30th of December and it's uh, 59.215. So what I'm pointing out here is that Assets or equity gains in cryptocurrency is held in your wallet, not in a bank. Okay, so that's the important thing that I'm uh, attempting to point out to you. Um, that's the reason why you become your own bank or you instantly manage and control your own assets. Uh, equities, equity gains in cryptocurrency are held in your wallet. Now, the next thing I want to show you is um, the concept of cryptocurrency being a private distributed, or I should say a public distributed ledger. Just like the ledger that your bank tallies when you log on and you see your bank uh, register or your credit card company when you log on and you see your credit card statement. It's the same accounting ledger that happens in Bitcoin, except it's public for anyone to see it. So every transaction is verified through consensus. Whereas in fiat, the transaction is only verified by your bank. So this is the Bitcoin public ledger, a public distributed ledger that has to have consensus with every single transaction. So every time someone sends Bitcoin, it's registered in this public check registry or bank statement or credit card statement. This one is just specifically for Bitcoin. So there's a uh, benefit to having a public ledger. Uh, there's anonymity. There's... Uh, less possibility for um, fraud and uh, transactions can be tracked. So th that's the second part of being your own bank. The second part of being your own bank is just simply having uh, verified transactions that can be tracked uh, dollar for dollar. There's no, uh, oh, I didn't send you the money. None of that. And 
you notice the uh, speed in which the transactions are taking place, okay, because you can send Bitcoin to anyone. What you're seeing is the hash address that records the individual transaction. So you're capable of sending Bitcoin to the other side of the world just as fast as you're capable of sending an email to the other side of the world. Okay, so I want you guys to understand the advantages that come with stepping into Bitcoin. Now, if we go to a exchange and we look at where Bitcoin stands in terms of price to um, fiat, you see that it's at uh, $950 per Bitcoin, okay? So you have equity gains as Bitcoin goes up. Now what I mean by that is the value of your wallet increases by the amount that you own in your wallet and that amount difference is only seen when you log into your Bitcoin wallet, okay? so. Uh, I showed you my Edenar wallet, but I don't have my Bitcoin wallet up here. But trust me, if Bitcoin goes up $30 in one night, then the next time you log on to your wallet, the value of your wallet will go up $30. So that's what I mean by equity is held in your wallet, not in a bank. Okay? And that's why it truly empowers you and allows you to do more than what you can currently do in fiat. Instant transactions, being able to send money all over the world the same way you send email, a public ledger that verifies all transactions. All of these things are more beneficial than what we have in fiat. So you're not losing when you participate in Bitcoin. You actually are gaining because it's a supply and demand network. Um, if you look at, let me take you to the Bitcoin transaction on the open market. This is for, uh, Bitcoin transactions in Yobit, which is just one of, uh, the many exchanges where you, uh, trade cryptocurrencies. Think about this as the stock market, but this is the stock market for cryptocurrency. So... Yobit is only one of many different exchanges, just like you have many different stock exchanges, okay? So when you look at Bitcoin trading, you see that buying into or converting paper money into Bitcoin gives you advantages and allows you to position yourself better than just having fiat okay you can instantly uh make trades either person to person or person to exchange uh you just have a lot more options okay and uh, diversification is the key in terms of having more options in your financial life that's why i say it's empowering and my goal is to get you to want this individual freedom. If you're interested and want to learn more, please reach out to me. I'm only here to help those who are interested. Remember, financial insurance is a personal choice and everything you do in your life is totally up to you.